Okay, so we just fought one of these in that guild war and we defeated it. So we can try and hit Mr. Ken Baller's team here. We'll just bring the same thing. We brought this and that, and we brought a Fran. The idea here is that uh, this thing can tank one bomb, and then after the first bomb, we can kind of just try and make it so we have immunity and not get a second bomb. We've got turn cycling even when we're provoked. We have provoke length reduction here. We've got, you know, attack break and stuff. So the, uh, the real risk with this team is... If his Rahul puts a brand on my Fran, then his uh, Ciara might target that, and that could be a problem. But honestly, I don't think it's that much of a problem, because, uh, I mean, the Fran is about as tanky as the Mermaid is, so does it really matter which one he's hitting? 15,000 damage on his bomb. Uh, I don't want to hit the Rahul, because I didn't pay attention if it's on Will or not, and if it's on Revenge, I don't want to get branded here. I want to try to strip his speed buff though. That might be worth it. We'll try that. Um, so he didn't use his skill one last turn. He just, uh, or he did use his skill one on the first turn. He hasn't used his skill three yet is what I'm saying. So I don't really want to put my buffs up if he's just going to strip them off. Uh, so instead of that, I'm just going to top off my mermaid here. Throw some more bombs on the Ciara. Because as soon as the Ciara is dead, then we're pretty okay. Um, we'll just cleanse the, the block there, and then we'll throw up our immunity. Hopefully we can dodge a bomb or two like that. Hopefully his Ciara is dead. I'll just do a little bit of extra damage to the Ciara. Um, I get a turn. I think that killing a Ciara so secures us the match that I'm just going to put a third bomb on it and blow it up. I don't care if that's a bunch of wasted damage, doing a 60,000 explosion there. I think that there's no way he can win if I do that. And just in case he's super tanky. Cool, we get to cleanse our Ciara. Uh, so we'll throw bombs on one of them and then we'll attack the other one. We're getting resisted. That's fine. We literally have all the time in the world. I don't know if he has his third yet. Don't care. Well, he double violent procs. He definitely had his third there and chose not to use it. Interesting strategy. We'll see if it pays off. Uh, three bombs missed in a row. I'll, we can look at my Ciara after this, but I'm pretty sure that with artifacts, she has like 82 accuracy on the bombs. Oh man, our mermaid is on a roll stripping everything. All right, we've got an attack buff bomb. We'll throw it on the other one and we'll just detonate it. Hey Pest, how's it going? Are you gonna cleanse himself here? I hope not. We don't need... Oh, we don't lap. Yeah, he does. Whatever. Whatever. He's just delaying the inevitable. Okay, we beat the uh, the CR of Ahul defense. We got a couple Kamuno Ryan Savannas here. Oh, someone's hitting the stuff I wanted to hit. It's not very strategic. You're supposed to wait until we can take everything at the same time. It's free for all. People just want to hit stuff. Our guildie is using a Leo Skogel Triana. Probably not bad. Uh, so for this one, I'll show I'll 
I'll show off the team that not many other people use besides me. We'll, we'll bring this team. I'll pass to your farmer now. That's cool. Sounds relaxing. All right, so it's not ideal that we get uh, our will strip to turn one. What? That's just unfair. Kamun crits our water monster. Rude. Can we stun this? Okay. So we're off to a pretty bad start here. Going to be interesting to see if we can recover. Oh, uh, what do I want to hit? I don't think it really matters what I hit, because whatever I hit is going to get a shield that makes the hit completely irrelevant. Here, we'll punish this Orion. And then we'll strip the shield. Hey, maybe that did something. Nope, he was going to proc out of the shield anyway. Alright, this one's not looking good for us. I don't think we can come back from this. But we managed to kill one of his monsters. Is that a double crit? That's not fair. Oh, do we need to kill this thing or do we need to stun that thing? I mean, I guess we need to kill this thing. Nah, we, we can't win this. It's completely over. That can dismount that. Dismounts that, it's gonna kill this. We might have skill three. All right, so we'll try to stun this. Maybe we can like skill three violent proc. Oh, we don't have skill three. Maybe we can violent proc. No. Okay. Yeah, we're never gonna get another turn. Hmm. Sad day. So they're going for that. Whatever. Uh, so this is. Typically my first counter against Kamun and Orion Savannah. I only started with the other one because I knew we'd be hitting more than one. And this one also fails sometimes. But decreasing attack bar is helpful. Ooh, twice. Alright, Savannah didn't skill three. Always try to stun the Orion so he can't skill one proc. Come on. Hooray, we did it. Well, that's still provoked already. We'll just try to stun the Orion. Uh oh. Okay, that's kind of good. I'd rather him attack the Jean than the Skogel, I think. Oh, maybe not. Ouch. This die. Ooh. Can we get to the shield, please? Oh, that violent proc was very helpful. Thank you. I appreciate that. And our Skogel definitely gets another turn here because there's a Leo, so the Orion can't lap us. That should be the Orion dead. Oh, wow. It's a tanky Orion. Or a tanky Kamun shield. One of those. We made it through. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I wouldn't say that I have a, a very, very safe counter for this defense. I'm not sure that a very, very safe counter... Just throw me in the garbage. Okay, this defense. We'll just bully Ken Baller today. I like this offense here because uh, two-thirds of my team has two lives. So, you know... This defense is set up to absolutely demolish whatever the first thing Perna attacks, but if that thing has two lives, then you're fine, right? Because you, you've got another one.
See, I had another guy. Uh, I guess we want to get that attack buff off of Perna if we can. So we'll go for him. Um, do we need to... I don't think we need to put a buff on him. He'll be fine. Uh-oh, Perna still has attack buff. Ouch, that hurts. Okay. Our Perna is beating up his Perna. Um, maybe... Okay, I probably should have skill 3 with my uh, Panda there, I guess. To kill his Perna. Would have saved my Perna's life. But I think that we probably don't lose from here. Okay, I think we're safe. So he killed both of our monsters that had another guy, and they both used their other guy to win the fight. Good stuff. The trick here is to just juggle runes back and forth. Yeah, this is fine. Not cats. Okay, twins. Um, it's actually kind of difficult for me to express to you how slow these twins are. These twins are less than plus 100 speed. Why are there so many towers only two defenses in them to hit? Uh, so the reason there's so many towers only two defenses on from the SSA side is because when the siege started, we basically just fought a one versus one against Summoner's War and Chill for second place. So because we were never attacking SSA and they kind of let us fight our one on one, they still have like all of their swords and they're just really worried that their members are not going to be able to use all of their attacks. So they're throwing in two defenses per tower so that we can take more towers and give them more defenses so they can all their so that all their members can use their swords. Yeah, hey, that's not fair. There's no point in stripping this. I'm actually gonna gain I'm gonna use the attack bar gain here by attacking his Triana so that I can heal faster. Yeah, poor SSA just wants to use all their attacks, but people ignore them, so they don't really get to participate in the fight that much. So this offense, basically I'm using Elusia to try to mitigate the twins damage as much as I can, Bella's our tank for the twins, and then Aegir's the one that's supposed to eventually kill them. Um. These twins are insanely slow, though. It's like, this Aegir is, like, plus 110 speed, I think, and they were slower than that. So this is, uh, this is some new tech with the, the zero speed twins. I guess if your twins are zero speed, though, it means you can get both tankiness and damage on them. Because a lot of the time, you kind of struggle for um, one of those two things. Although they haven't done insane amounts of damage to us. Our tank still successfully tanked. That's dead. He doesn't have a heal, does he? No, he's got he's got an immunity buff on him. It's literally impossible for him to have a heal. Okay, just kill this, whatever. Let's just be three Vio sets. Yeah. You never know. This is probably a crit damage Triana. It's taking a decent amount of damage. 
from my relatively low damage offense. And also, I just, I don't know, I like crit damage Triana because everybody these days is using these double water monster teams, so having a Triana that can actually try to kill the water monsters is not bad. All right, we took down the twins. Look at us go. Okay, I don't think anyone's saying anything I need to listen to. Um, so the thing about this defense is that I just want to kill something like really quickly and then three versus two. I will silence his water thing because I don't want that to put up anti-crit turn one. And there's a bit of a speed gap between these monsters. That's unfortunate because that's the thing that I wanted to kill, but um, I suppose we can kill something else. Do I care if he defense break Ob oblivions us? On the one hand, I want his vigor to hit my iris because my iris is the only tanky monster on my team. On the other hand, I'd like my iris to keep being able to heal. So I'm going to try and kill this thing turn one. That's very tanky. Push this down a bit. Jeez, even my Teor can't kill something on turn one. That's not supposed to be a problem that Teor has. Like, Squall's supposed to be the ability that kills absolutely anything. It can't kill this thing either. Whatever. We need better Teor runes, apparently. I don't know. It's been a while since we've uh, worked on our Teor, but we still won. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. All right, we're in. We are the the king of the vultures jumping on the tower as soon as it opens. Don't do anything too bad to me, please. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad unless it's a, unless it's a despair commune. All right. No despair commune. Bombs, bombs. That's enough bombs. I'm comfortable with that amount of bombs. Is there any point in healing? We'll wait a turn. Yeah, we'll wait a turn and now we'll have the attack buff when our bombs are up. Nice. Planning. Hey look, bombs. All right, we successfully bombed him. Uh, so I'm pretty comfortable with that offense against this defense. Just because that's something I should be thinking of when I'm uh, arming my artifacts. For, for Gemini, like if you use Gemini a lot, it makes absolute perfect sense. Because Gemini needs to be able to break those shields. Okay, so I don't have any buffs. So that's good. Uh, these stats are absolute garbage, but it does move ahead of this stuff. These stats are also pretty bad. Hmm. All right, hope we're not throwing. <laughs> All right, there are shield runes, so we might be throwing. Oh, good. We didn't break the shield, but we stripped the will anyway. Uh, so what we really wanted was the Shina. So we're going to go after the Shina. Cool. We had enough damage. I want, don't, don't keep that attack buff. That's my attack buff. Nice. Look at all these turns we're getting. Uh, if I hit that, it'll just proc the Triana passive, so I'll hit the Triana here. Get a nice stun on it, maybe. Maybe not. 
man, our Gemini is going crazy. Gemini is here to win. That was Martina, but a couple turns too late. Bam. Summary conviction. Yeah, Martina uh, was, a, was a turn too late on her, her valiant efforts. Um, okay, so now what do we do? I guess in the interest of stream content, we hit the other streamer. Um, this is bad. I'm making a bad choice right now. The, the reason that I'm allowed to make a bad choice is because the result of this siege is already locked in, right? Uh, the reason that we're making a bad choice here is that these water twins are not on will runes. Uh, when you use water twins to fight this stuff, put them on will runes. Because if the Shina stuns both of them on turn one, you're going to have a bad time. We're not doing that. We're making bad choices. Just understand that we, we know that we're making bad choices and you all should not do the same at home. Jeez, that's actually pretty good damage. Ah. Um, I guess we want to kill the Martina first because we have water monsters. And presumably our water monsters will fare better against the Shina. Stop bullying me. Hey, Lawless, how's it going? Ouch. Okay, so it looks like we might lose this one, actually. I'm not feeling very good about it. I guess the good news is that, uh, well, bad news is that we're getting stunned. But this Sabrina is on Vampire, so it's good that the Sabrina is getting attacked because it's the tankier of the two and it has Vampire runes. Finally got our wish of fighting an OP guild. You were here on Thursday for Malicious, Lalus. I know you were. But yes. Um, so the point here is that none of these monsters have any will runes. None of these monsters have any buffs. So Wunsa, even if it goes first, it only boosts its teammates if it strips something. So the idea is that we're not going to give it anything to strip. So it's going, it, even if he does outspeed us, he skill threes us. And then we cut in with our swift set and we Lucian him. Uh, the reason that we're using a Teon instead of that Dova here is because with Dova, it only gives attack buff to Lucian if Lucian's health is over 70%, and that skill 3 from Wunsa can push Lucian's HP below 70%, and then Dova would give him a heal over time instead of an attack buff, and then you would just lose. Uh, so we don't use Dova because we don't want the Lucian's health to be too low. You don't have Will Runes, so the Wunsa can't boost his team. And uh, we're using Ryu because our Kamun has Will Runes on it, and we can't have that. And also, if Wunsa does go first, it'll give our Ryu a turn, and maybe our Ryu can get a Despair stun on something, right? So that's the idea. Um, obviously, this all falls apart when we get our Lucian and we realize that his team is too tanky and nothing dies, right? So that's... I kind of expect that to happen. Well, we're going to get to Lucian him, but he's going to be too tanky, nothing's going to die, and then we're going to lose. We'll go into this one, and we'll see what happens. Okay, that was scary. So Wunsa did go first, uh, but instead of skill 3-ing, she tried to get the two-turn sleep on our booster. And if that had actually happened, I would have been very sad. <laughs> uh, so we'll boost our Lucian, and we're going to Lucian him. See how much damage we do here? Uh, so this is... Full damage from my Lucian with a speed leader. There is absolutely no wind damage reduction artifacts on these monsters. Um, you can see that my Lucian actually has additional damage versus wind monsters, which is why it's hitting harder on the CR than it's hitting on the rest of the team. But uh, with a speed lead, this is about my Lucian damage. So he's not running any wind damage reduction here, which means that this defense, if you as long as you build your Lucian offense correctly, 
is pretty lucianable. So we go ahead and we get the Lucian off on Mr. Make It a Bud. 